On the recommendation of the President, the Board of Trustees has authorized the conferral of an honorary degree upon Philip Rivers. Universities have granted degrees honoris causa since the Middle Ages. The practice originated as a way for students to skirt final exams and for universities to gain the favor of powerful patrons. It soon evolved, however, into a way to honor individuals for extraordinary achievement, service, example, leadership, or loyalty to the university. During its 134-year history, Catholic University has conferred more than 300 honorary degrees, and the recipients represent nearly every profession. Professors, poets, cops, kings, journalists, judges, bishops, entrepreneurs, teachers, politicians, professional athletes, and at least two saints, Mother Teresa and Catherine Drexel. This year, the university bestows five degrees honoris causa. William Chester Jordan is the Dayton Stockton Professor of History at Princeton University. He is a scholar, intellectual, and prolific teller of old tales about kings, abbots, conversions, and crusades. Dr. Jordan's area of study is the Middle Ages. His special gift is the ability to find new and innovative inroads into understanding events, people, and histories we thought we already knew. Dr. Kathleen McChesney spent 31 years in law enforcement, 24 of them with the FBI. In 2002, the U.S. bishops asked her to establish the Office of Child and Youth Protection and to develop protocols for preventing and responding to allegations of abuse. She continues to be a national voice on behalf of survivors of abuse and for accountability in our church. Professor Pierre Manon is a French scholar and a leading voice on political philosophy and the classical liberal tradition. His profound and strikingly original insights are credited with restoring some of the grammar of moral and political action to contemporary Western political thought. Honoree Tommy Espinosa earns the university's appreciation for his 45-year career serving Latinos. The project he leads, the Raza Development Fund, pioneered a faith-based approach to community development and his unwavering commitment to affordable housing supports Latino empowerment in his hometown of Phoenix and across America. Finally, Joe Carlini, 1984 alumnus and true friend of Catholic University, is congratulated and thanked for his many years of leadership on our Board of Trustees. We also recognize him for his and his wife Christine's philanthropic support of their alma mater, which directly benefits the lives of students today and will continue to do so for generations to come.